Number one, having a website, having authority that said, all right, he was number 10 on Google, but I was able to call him and he picked up the phone number two. We talk about all the time people not picking up the phone. And as simple as it sounds, people don't pick up the phone. Even if you don't pick up the phone and somebody leaves a voicemail, do you call back? Yeah. A lot of times people are like, oh, well, they probably moved on. Or they probably didn't. Like, why? I called for a reason. I'm looking for services. Why wouldn't you call back? Why wouldn't you answer if you have the availability to? We say that all the time. When we first got virtual assistants in our business, it was simply just to answer the phone. That's all we needed. We just like, we just need you to answer the phone because we're losing business by not being able to answer the phone. So if you are one of those people that you're like, well, I'll get back back to it i done moved on if i'm calling i'm probably calling three other people so I call you didn't answer <laughs> oh yeah you didn't answer i'm moving on so making sure that you're answering the phone or at least responding back sending an immediate text if you can't answer something to communicate i'll be right with you if i can yeah and that's that's important to it just having that instant response Five minutes max, 10 minutes, max. way too long. You know the society we live in. Think about yourself. What is the response time that you require when you're calling around? Most of the time, people don't call. So if I'm calling somewhere, people are usually texting or mm -hmm. sending an inquiry online. So if you're calling, you really want it done immediately. And another thing, too, is that if you're able to solve someone's pain point as quickly as possible, they will mm -hmm. probably pay a higher premium for it, especially in our cleaning business. We talk about same-day service. If someone's calling for a cleaning service the same day. Add on $50, $70 today. We could barely do same-day now because we're so busy, but... That's exactly why. If you were able to do same-day service, now that makes you stand out from the competition. Mm -hmm. You could charge a premium. People have a pain point. Normally, it's like, oh, I had some family coming to town, or I got a party. I didn't think about cleaning up, or I had an emergency, or yeah, whatever. I don't, time. I don't have the time. So if you can solve that person's pain point quickly and efficiently as possible, you could charge a premium for that service. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. You start from that first interaction is when your customer service or when your business starts with the person. For the first time they see your website, for the first time they answer the phone, that is the beginning before you even complete the service for them. So I think that's important to note too because many people just focus on, well, we're just going to use what we do. Well, I did the clean good. Yeah, but from the beginning, things were kind of rocky. Like you char you double charged them first and you did all these things that you put a, you were late, you put a bad taste in their mouth and no, they no longer care that you did the cleaning well. That's like, okay, basic. Think about that. If you own the, how would you want to be treated? Like yeah. I know experiences can be bad and it does happen. Mm -hmm. Think about this as you being a business owner, if we're going to talk about this in another segment too, but you as a business owner, you as a person, how would you want to be treated? You had a bad mm -hmm. experience, but you had 10 good experiences before that. The only one that's going to leave their review is that one, that Damn. one that had the bad experience. Yeah. I think about that a lot. And so that's why I'm just like, it ain't fair to do it. Setting expectations up front. Mm -hmm. Let's say we had a huge mega mansion and we had a bat in here or something. Well, let's, keep, let's keep it the rabbit. <laughs> and the minimum, let's say the minimum was like $500, right? And he said, that's just the minimum for me to come out there to check it out. Now, let's say this <laughs> rabbit is running around the me mega mansion. He's chasing it. For two hours. I wouldn't expect the same price. I wouldn't expect to pay $500 if now he's chasing this rabbit around the house <laughs> for hours. You would say, oh, he's a trained professional. He should know what he's doing to catch this rabbit. Yes and no. But animals are animals. We all know they're yeah, not. We uh... can't, it's not like a, uh, it's not like it's going to go in a straight line or anything like that. Where mm -hmm. I could, you know. So I think setting those expectations up front as a business would that's be important. Extremely helpful. And we learned that in business too. We, we, we learned that even with certain types of cleanings, we have this, we had to say, all right, you know, let's say same day, for example. We talked about same day. We let them know now we know that you need this cleaning service same day. We can't guarantee that we'll get someone out there same day, but let's get you on the books. And what happens now is now that you're on the books, the booking goes out to our entire team and they could choose mm -hmm. if they want to grab it or move some other cleanings around. We give them that option. Now mm -hmm. let's say within 30 minutes, they don't get back to me or we don't see that booking accepted. We will call you and let you know that we cannot solve that. We cannot get you out there today. Last one on this note is just like, don't cancel on people too. I know it's hard sometimes, but canceling um, on people sucks, man. I, we booked, we've, do, we've done that before though. We've done it before. <laughs> and it, and it just sucks. starting out in the but business one thing i would say if you have to cancel on someone try to give them an incentive to come back yeah don't just say i can't get you in today i can't do this service or whatever i was trying to book something for someone i don't want to put too much information out there and mm -hmm. they text me saying like, oh yeah we can't we got to cancel on you i was like fam this person is flying but, and you driving in it, and you booked it a little further out yeah this like... person's driving in mm -hmm. so that we could do this one thing and you're saying that we can't do it so luckily enough that i'm thinking outside the box and we made it happen but mm -hmm. if you're going to cancel on someone i would say try to make it worth their while to to come back yeah give them an incentive to come back like okay you know i can't do it today but i can do it this day or can't do it today but next service will give you 50 40 off something along those lines to make them come back some people understand that things happen and yeah. are humans and some people won't but at least still offer it that's the biggest thing making sure that you're offering it is important yeah. how do you <laughs> 
take accountability when you do mess up. Now, there's going to just be some people that just, you can't please everyone. That's also life. We understand that as well. But if there's things that you did wrong or if someone is complaining about something, how do you, what do you do in your business to kind of reflect and see, wow, okay, this is what we did wrong. This is what we could do better and we'll change that next time. I think that's just as important for people because a lot of times people are like, oh, well, this person just said that. But Maybe there's some truth to it. Maybe there is something that you did wrong. And a lot of times when we get negative reviews, we always try to go through the entire process. Like, what was the first call that they received? Like, when they first called in, what was that conversation? And, okay, they got the emails. And did we arrive on time? And did we take a break while we were there? Like, so many things we're just trying to figure out. Where did we go wrong? If was a breakdown. Anything. What was the breakdown? And honestly, 80, 80% of the time, there is something that we did wrong that we could have changed and done better for. And we can, we will say like, okay, well, this is where our contractor did wrong. And this is why this person is upset. We can kind of get it. But making sure you do that for your business is important. Taking accountability.